For today's DIY video, we're going to be doing some DIY IKEA hacks. I absolutely love IKEA and I love making these videos. I hope you guys enjoy them as well. If you do, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And if you are subscribed, make sure you have that notification bell clicked because as you guys may have heard, if you don't have that bell clicked, you will no longer get my videos in your subscription boxes. So that's just a new change. So make sure you will subscribe as well as hit that bell and let's jump right into it. For the first IKEA hack today, we are going to be making this side table, and this side table is actually a combination of two IKEA pieces that aren't meant to go together, but they work together really well. So for this, I am using the Hutton wine rack. You can use one or two of these depending on how high you want your side table to be. I'm also using a Stockholm tray. So all you have to do is simply follow the instructions for this wine rack, put it all together. It took me about five to seven minutes to get it all together. The great thing about this is both pieces are the same shade of wood. So if you want to stain them or spray paint them to be a different color, you can. But as you can see, this tray fits perfectly right on top. So all you have to do is add a generous amount of wood glue to the top of each of the pegs on this wine rack. Once you're done doing that, just secure the tray, make sure it's in the middle so it doesn't tip over. And I let that dry about four hours. But before that, I went ahead and removed any of the excess wood glue. I recommend putting more than you actually need and then wiping off the excess. But you are all done with your new wine rack table. I also think this would be great with like vintage wine bottles, but this table turned out absolutely amazing. Moving on to this entryway organizer that's great for storing your mail or your keys. This I actually made out of a napkin holder I found at Ikea. I immediately fell in love with this and had to use it for something. So I got this wood board that is already ready to hang and I just added a coat of emerald green paint. I then took a ruler and measured out little sections where I wanted to put in screw hooks. This is great to hang your keys or even to organize jewelry. The trick with these is to apply pressure and then twist them and they go in. Sometimes it gets annoying, but you'll get it to work. And after that, I just used some really quick dry E6000 so it would dry a lot quicker and I didn't have to worry about this sliding. So I just added a thin layer on all of the different designs on the napkin holder. Be really careful with this part, but all you have to do is flip it over and place it exactly where you want it onto the board. Again, this dried in about 30 minutes and it's great at my entryway. I just like hanging my keys on here and storing any mail or bills that I need to remember to pay. This definitely reminds me of something you would find at Anthropology for a much larger price tag. This next hack is using one of Ikea's most popular items. If you guys haven't seen this pillow cover on Pinterest, then you've definitely seen it when you've gone to the Ikea store. But this is definitely one of their most popular items. I just needed to switch it up a little bit because the black and white was getting a little plain for me. So I used a bucket full of about a third of water and then I dumped an entire bottle of bleach. I got this from the dollar store and it worked amazing. Then you just submerge the pillow cover. You wanna wait one hour in the bleach and this is kind of what it's gonna look like but you need to wash it in warm water and then put it in the dryer as normal and once it's done it comes out looking like this it's like this really pretty peach color if you wanted it a little lighter you could just leave it in the bleach a little bit longer but it definitely matches my space a little bit better I hope you guys enjoyed those IKEA hacks be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye